Hello guys, I'm Professor Mark Tullio with Fundamentals of Mechanical Vibration. Today we're gonna write the equation of motion of a pendulum with a disc connected to its free end rolling on a cylindrical track by using Lagrangian mechanics. So let's go. Okay, that's the, the system we are studying today. It's composed by a homogeneous bar with its pivot is point O with a disc connect to the, its free end rolling on a cylindrical track there is no slip uh, other information is there is no friction in this free end okay there is no friction for this reason the disc can rotate freely at the free end of the bar. The from this uh, from this information, we conclude that as a rigid body, look, as a rigid body, the disc does not contribute to the system. However, the disc contributes as a mass point just a mass point so let's go here we have a picture to represent the system uh, in this case we need to draw a schematics of kinematic analysis differently from uh, Newtonian mechanics there is no force here just distance velocities heights so let's go the cylindrical track has the radius capital R the angle, angle theta describes the motion of the bar the angle phi describes the, the rotation motion of the disc the disc has a radius R the mass of the bar is M this, the point G is the centroidal point because uh, the bar is homogeneous, so its center of gravity is located at the mid-span, as you can see here. So, the mass of the disk is capital M, the center of the disk is point C, the contact point is point A. Here is, is the level, uh, level reference for the potential energy datum g the datum g we we measure the height the height of the point d so for the disc we have a datum datum c and from this datum we measure the height of c remember in vertical position is the equilibrium position the distance between O and center of gravity of the bar is half L. So just a uh, uh, information about the cosine of theta. In the Lagrangian mechanics or the analytical mechanics, we use the two first terms of the expansion of this function in, in Taylor series. Let's calculate the height of point G, uh, whose the uh, reference level is the datum G. Just a simple geometry, we can calculate the, the height. Remember to replace this cosine here by this expression here. So, the height G is equal 1 over 2 times L over 2 times theta squared, squared theta. In the same way, the height of point C is the same approach as used. So the height of C can be calculated with the, from this expression here. Oh, I really make a mistake here, but no worries, let's go. 
Now we need to to, to know uh, to create a way to link and the angle theta and the angle phi as you can see here because the system has one degree of freedom just one in this case it's possible to write theta with respect to phi and vice versa in the the left hand side there is the that's the the tangential displacement of point C seen by point O and the right hand side that's the tangential displacement here seen by point A is equal, is common so if I isolate phi we obtain the expression here I can write fit, uh, phi with respect theta. Remember that we need to write the equation of motion with respect to theta. That's very very important. Now just, a, just a note to emphasize the, the tangential displacement here, the common sin by O sin by A. So let's let's calculate the the energies because the Lagrangian mechanics is based only on energy. The first of all, the gravitational potential energy of the bar with respect to data g. So v g of the bar is equal positive because positive because the the point g. The point G is above the datum. Okay? MG8. If we proceed with the calculation, we reach the expression here. Positive because the G is above, above the datum. So, gravitational potential energy of the disk from datum C. The same way, but you have to use the ob obviously the mass of the disk and the height calculate here. So we obtain this expression here. Now uh, there is no there is no uh, other kind of uh, potential energy in this case here. Let's go on with rotational kinetic energy of the bar about point O. The bar about point O is simply 1 over 2 multiplied mass moment of inertia with respect uh, about O times angular velocity squared okay as you can see here now we need to calculate the rotational kinetic energy of the disk about point O but Let's recover, let's recover an uh, important information. The disc can rotate freely at the free end of the bar. For this reason, as a rigid body, the disc does not contribute to the system. However, it contributes as a mass point. It's a very important information, as a mass point. For this reason, the disc behaves behaves like a point is not a point but behaves like a point we need to, uh, we need to calculate this mass moment of inertia for a mass point is simply is simply half a 1 over 2 times mass of the disk times the distance between center of the disk and the point O squared as you can see that's remembered mass point in this case uh, lastly let's calculate the rotational kinetic energy of the disk about point C now it's rotating as you can see about C the same way 
considering uh, don't forget to replace dot phi by this expression here because once again we need to write with the equation with respect to theta we need phi here we need dot phi here just put the dot over theta and replace that over here now we have all energies all energies we need fortunately let's go now we have to replace all these energies here in the Lagrange equation the terms the partial derivative of uh, kinetic energy with respect dot theta is calculated like this if you have any doubts go back in the video to recover all these steps we developed before so we obtain a first expression here and we need to derive this expression with respect with the time we reach the first expression now the partial derivative with respect the theta just sum all potential energies and calculate like this there is no damper there is no dash pot here in this case the partial derivative of the function, uh, dissipation functions of Rayleigh with respect to the dot theta is zero the same way the partial derivative of kinetic energy with respect just theta is zero we have dot theta in energies but just theta no let's go over. we need to calculate the mass moment of inertia as you can see here we have the jo jc we need to calculate all of them the mass moment of inertia of disk about point c is simply the its centroidal mass moment of inertia you you can find this expression uh, in an ordinary table of mass properties just here and now we have to calculate mass moment of inertia of the bar about point o in this case we we have to to use we must to use the parallel axis theorem to translate the inertia from this the center of gravity to the rotation point if you calculate this you, you obtain this, this expression here so let's go on delay delay uh, okay now we have all parameters we need all just uh, rearrange uh, in the suitable fashion if we work uh, if we work uh, with the algebra here we proceed with these calculations we reach the the term to be replaced in the Lagrange equation that's here is the the Lagrange equation we put all the terms respective terms in, in Lagrange equation we obtain we obtain the equation of motion here that's the equation of motion for this system here but uh, let's remember all terms all factor multiplying the theta, uh, double dot is called equivalent mass and the factor multiplying theta or angular displacement is the equivalent stiffness 
So you can rewrite this equation in another way, in another fashion, like this. If you go, if you go on here, we reach the, this form here. Let's proceed like this. Now the equation of motion finally assume this fashion here is more elegant. Uh, and we know now we know that uh, uh, all terms the term between the brackets is the squared natural frequency for this reason we can compute the natural frequency like this okay that's very very suitable to, to put the equation in this form here or this form here Okay. Okay guys, for today it's all. That's all folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe the channel, share this material, and see you on next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.